how to achieve more visibility, more FPS, and how to become, with those settings, a little bit better in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I will give you that solution in this video right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS, visibility and your overall experience in Black Ops Cold War. If you're new to this channel, and I guess you are, subscribe to the Inside Gaming channel to become a better player. So let's start right with your basic settings and I'm showing the settings for the PC and here you can see my graphic settings. So the first chapter is pretty basic stuff. Display mode, full screen, refresh rate depends on your screen. Everything is pretty, pretty basic. Display is the first chapter, which can be pretty interesting if you are play a little bit around it. I choose the Tritanopia section or option with enemy color pink. It's very, very intense pink because the basic red is a little bit washed out. I don't like it and the pink option is pretty nice you can see your enemies very very good and i will show you that later on how it looks in actual gameplay the field of view option depends on your playstyle. i like 120 maximum to see everything around me if you turn it a little bit down of course your enemies gets a little bit bigger which can be also nice but you're losing your borders and you do not see that much of course let's continue with the texture quality I choose it on ultra Y because you can see it right here. The differences with the ultra settings adds everything a little bit sharper. Same as with the model quality. I like it to have it a little bit sharper, a little bit more in detail. The model quality isn't that important, but the texture quality is. You can see the difference right here. It's with low settings, it's everything washed out and not so nice. And with uh, ultra settings, you have very sharp and very clear models and that's important. Special effects quality, I don't need that on very good because I don't, I'm not interested in, I need FPS and of course I need information. That's why effects are not necessary for me. The object view distance, I put this on high. Why? Because on satellite for example or different maps you do not see enemies if you're not putting it on high. I will show you what I mean later on satellite. So the shadow and lightning chapter is pretty interesting because you can save a lot of your FPS right here. Shadow quality, I don't need high quality of shadows because I need just information and not the quality. That's why I got it on low. Dynamic shadows is on. Why? Because I need the information if something moving around. Special effect shadows, you can definitely disable that. I don't know why sometimes my settings of the set settings are changing after you change something. Special effect shadows definitely turn that off. You don't need that because it's like details or FPS uh, burned out for nothing. Weapon shadows also disabled. Don't need that. Ray tracing. I completely disabled all of that stuff but I'm not interested in wasting FPS for quality. I need that good and sharp picture that's important so the nvidia dlss is an option it's like an ai is choosing the best frame rate for your preset i am not using it because my image is sharper without the dlss and if you disable the dlss you can choose your analyzing quality high is enough for me i do not see a big difference between high and ultra high is perfect ambient occlusion Quality is like how washed out your shadows are. I use it on ultra because if I have darker images I don't want do not want it to be washed out, but we will jump on that point later on also also Motion blur one of the biggest mistakes turn off your motion blur because if you're turning around with your motion blur You will see nothing. So that's why Definitely you have to turn it off if you want if you want to be a better gamer And that's why you are here for and you're saving a little bit of your FPS That's why the motion black quality isn't necessary because we, we have disabled it VRM usage of course high and the other things are pretty basic as you can see I have a split screen right here on the right side my beautiful nice pitched up gameplay or image on on the left side your well-known Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War experience but how do you achieve this nice image I use an Nvidia graphics card and I guess AMD has a similar software I'm not 100% sure but if you have an Nvidia graphics card you can push alt 3 and you get this menu here and this menu it's in English over here 
And you can see you can add some filters, some color filters. I don't know why those or my filters are in German. I'm sorry for that, but I will translate it to you to get everything clear. So this one, the Bildschirmaufteilung is a split screen to show you the difference between standard and nice bright colors. colors. The next one is the light and contrast and I will open it up for you that you can adapt my settings and my bars. It's like the lightning, contrast, highlight, shadows and gamma. The next one, it's pretty important, it's the sharpness and the last one is the colors and for those things if you do everything right and you have to play a little bit around it depends on your graphics card display and all that stuff play a little bit around but stick around those bars to get my result and you can add a lot of more filters if you want to and after you did that you can see the difference and the difference are quite critical you can see the my version colors are much brightened up bigger contrast way more colorful and the left side is washed out and I do not like it. It's a big, big difference, especially if you have those darker areas right here. You are pretty much better in every way to play around and to be even more better. Right now I will add some bots to check the actual difference. So right here you can see the difference between the red enemies and the pink or purple enemies. And you can see this guy over here he would be invisible for you if you had your object or object or enemy distance on low or medium. He would be invisible for you, clearly. You wouldn't see him, even if he, he would be right here and shooting on you, you wouldn't see him. And I had, I found that out in the beginning of my um, Call of Duty Cold War PC experience, uh, after I saw another video and with other stuff and settings. So guys, tomorrow I will give you another video how you can maximize your visibility with a kind of wall hack which is an attachment in the current game. It's of course not cheating or hacking or anything else but it's pretty pretty damn interesting and important to improve your gameplay performance in Call of Duty Cold War. If you like what you see, do not forget to like because you can show the world we Germans can at least win something and if it's you like it would be amazing to show that to the world out there. I have another video for you right now, so stay on the channel and we see you tomorrow.